praying and it's just hard. It's just not, uh, you know, any phone call I get it from India, I'm scared. Like, I'm just scared, like, oh, I hope my family is okay. And, you know, so you feel helpless here. Neha Gupta has tons of family in northern India. Many of her family members are vaccinated. Still, she worries. Like morning, at night, before I sleep, and uh, as soon as I wake up, and I try to, you know, to connect with them, to just to know, is everybody okay? Today, she connected with a friend, Avnika Gupta. She lives in New Delhi, the nation's capital, which is a COVID hotspot. Avnika told me that people in India have close-knit families and live together, so it's hard to isolate when parents, grandparents, and children are sharing the same space. In every household, you have like three to four cases, like first you like hear about one case and then suddenly the entire family gets it. Avnika says she knows the U.S. is working on helping and that help can't come soon enough. People are struggling just to find oxygen, just to find a bed. So there's a shortage of ventilators, there's a shortage of oxygen, and everybody is just like, you know, running around. And here in the U.S., people like Neha with family in India are just trying to remain hopeful. Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News.